Hey everyone, in today's video I wanted to show you my new little toy, my Boss RC1, and how I'm using it with the accordion. Uh, I have a camera showing the loop pedal, and I have a camera obviously filming myself, two microphones, we're going to amplify an acoustic instrument, the accordion, which is tough to do. So I have a microphone running to my audio recorder, the Zoom H4n Pro, that's being outputted to the loop pedal in. And then the loop pedal out is going to my Roland amplifier. A more ideal solution would be to amplify a digital instrument. So if this had an audio out with an internal microphone, it wouldn't be as messy as this microphone. If it's an acoustic guitar with an audio out, it would be a cleaner signal. If it's a digital keyboard where this thing lives most of the time, it's a much cleaner signal. But still, let's see how, how this works. I hope you enjoy the video. I'm not affiliated in any way with Boss. Um, I bought this with, using my own money. I don't have an affiliate link. If you choose to buy a loop pedal, um, do so at your own uh, thing. I don't want any money <laughs> based based on your purchase habits. I uh, want to remain as neutral as possible. Yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy this video. I had a really good time uh, making it, and I'm so, so enjoying this Boss loop pedal. Uh, enjoy. So let me show you what that does. I have a camera here. When I press it, it's going to record. So I'm just going to choose a chord, a G minor. And now it's playing. When it was red, it was recording. Now that it's green, it's just playing back what I played. Now I can play over it. Double tapping will stop it. And now I'm just stopped it. I could restart it by pushing down again and stopping. So what what does that do? A, it lets me play with myself in a way that I couldn't before. I could build songs, right? So doing that, I can now do another bass pattern or I could add more right hand things to that song, which we'll do in a minute. Uh, the other thing it lets me do is it's a practice tool. It lets me work with songs that I'm having trouble with, whether it's building out the right hand or integrating hands together. Um, yeah, it, 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 it lets me build rhythms that I couldn't before and lets my mind process those rhythms. So let's keep building on that. So if I am playing, if I press the pedal again, it will record. And it's going, right? So it can get really crazy really quickly, but you can see that it's kind of fun, right? It's like a kid in a candy shop. Let me take the color green and throw orange on top of it. And that was all just one chord. That was a G minor. Different variations of it, right? If you look at my right hand waltz technique explained video, it's that's what I was doing, right? <laughs> Imagine layering all those sounds together. This is what it sounds like. Etc. So 
that's the basics. That's just the foundation of the loop pedal. Um, that was an example of what can you do with just throwing stuff at the wall, which I love to do, right? Exploring sounds. Uh, as a practice tool, I'm, I'm just going to clear it by double tapping and holding. Oh, that removed one layer. There we go. When it does that, it's clear. Um, let's let's do uh, an example of a difficult rhythm song like Nantes, right? I'll just do the left hand. Um, this song works especially well with a loop, but the loops I think can last more than uh, 20 minutes, more than 12 minutes. It's in the, the specs. I haven't reached the loop limit yet. So let's record the left hand. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Now I could practice. If I wanted to get more complicated, I could do. word about why this is useful, why I find this useful. You could play with a backing track, you could play with a metronome, but no one, not no one, it's so rare to play with someone who has perfect rhythm, unless you're playing with a drummer, and even then it's hard to keep perfect rhythm. To play music with yourself is a special treat, it's a special joy, because I'm a little bit fast in places, I'm a little bit slow, so it teaches me to listen, right? Um, I have to really pay attention. I can't just play over myself because it won't be, it, because it won't be um, perfectly placed. I don't play in a quantized way. Um, I play a little bit faster with a little bit more emotion, a little bit louder and a little bit softer in places. So I have to listen for those things when I actually press record. Uh, let's keep going. <laughs> And I can play over it. You can really build it up quickly. Um, to give one more example, let's play, stop, press and hold. It's super easy to use. One other thing is you could do this with your phone. There are loopers on your phone. You could do this by pressing record and playing back. Uh, what I like about this is it's it's intuitive and it's easy. This setup isn't easy. This is plugged into my digital keyboard 99% of the time. Um, but but it sure is nice to play accordion with myself versus just a digital instrument. Nice thing is you could have shakers, you could have a recorder, you could have a glockenspiel, 
right? You can build so much. For example, Amelie. So why did I record that? Now I could practice the really difficult part, the level three playing that I don't know how to do, which is the arpeggios. Let's practice that. a glockenspiel right I think it's such a cool tool for musical exploration if you're a student here's how you could use it let me delete still getting used to it if you're a student just learning a song here's what I would do I would really slow it down right so the D minor to A minor. Now you can forget about this. And now you can practice the D minor chord to A minor chord switch, right? Just that's the variation. And now you're your own metronome. My brain doesn't have to think about the left hand. I can just concentrate on the right hand while getting that same sound.
that I would never be able to pull off. You can do so much. There are lots of technical things. This is Boss's most basic pedal. They make a more complicated version where you can have multiple loops. This one just holds one loop. So imagine recording two or three pieces um, of, a, of a song. So the, the verse, the bridge, and the chorus. And then you could switch between them. Um, more complicated loop pedals. I think they have a, something called a loop station with four different switches. So I could turn on and off different parts of the song. If I just want to record the vocal tracks or the rhythm tracks with shakers, I could enable and disable those. There are ways of importing uh, songs from your computer. Um, but what I love about this is just how simple it is, how portable it is, if you don't have this whole setup, and just how much of a cool tool it is for songwriters, for new students who are just practicing, who need that separation of tracks. Um, it's just super duper cool. It's a little bit expensive, but again, de depends. I, I finally bought one during this uh, pandemic, but I've been looking for one for years and years and years. Um, yeah, anyways, you can find one used. I, I don't think they break, uh, and you can find one new as well on Amazon. Uh, I don't have a, a, a link below. I'm not affiliated. I don't get any money from this. Um, but yeah, the Boss RC1 Loop Station. I, ho I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope it's been fun. Thank you.